be a police officer. Tell me about it. Uh, well, at first, you know, I come from a family of cops, so I was pretty, pretty honored and uh, happy when I first got on the force. But uh, after a while, you see some of the corruption going on and the stuff that, you know, some of the stuff you're forced to do, you know, and it, it just broke my heart and I knew, you know, that's not the route I wanted to go down. And so I quit that job because I knew that I was hurting people and I was hurting people in the community that I cared about. And to see that going down and to be made to do some of the stuff that I had to do, it was, uh, I was uh, shameful. You know, I couldn't live with myself and uh, your higher ups would make you do, you know. It was uh, really disheartening to, to uh, look, uh, look at and, uh, and it, you know, I really took a long look at my life and, uh, and I, you know, thought to myself, you know, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? You know, do I want to keep, you know, doing, you know, some of the things that I knew were illegal, but I kept doing it. Yeah, and, but you're uh, a police officer. What do you mean illegal? Well, I, I, I really don't want to like to talk about that because I still have family in law enforcement. But there was stuff that, you know, they made you do that were, you know, you felt shameful of doing and you wanted to turn your head and, and uh, I couldn't live with myself anymore. You know, after a few years, it really gets to you and, you know, I have a, you know, a different respect for them. You know, there are some good ones out there and, uh, you know, not a lot of people think that, but I met some great officers that do a lot for the community that give the shirt off their back, that, you know, the money out of their wallet, the shoes off their feet. You know, you've seen videos like that. I've seen officers like that also. But, you know, there's also the ones out there that, you know, are power hungry and, and want to do wrong and, you know, they get a kick out of it. You know, and seeing that and nobody sticking up, you know, for, uh, against them, you know, when you, you know, when higher ups know what's going on, you know what I mean? And, uh, what do you think about my video? Your video was very eye opening. And it, like I said, it, you know, uh, your videos like or videos like yours is the reason why I went into environmental science and uh, got my bachelor's and all that from uh, UW is because my eyes were open, you know, as soon as I started doing this. And what, you know, I've seen other videos of uh, like the tar sands up in Canada and uh, it just made me want to fight. And uh, and what I did is that's why, you know, now I dedicated my life to that. You know, I go to different rallies, I, you know, in, in Washington State where I'm from, and I just try and get the word out, you know, because it's always quiet, you know, the media doesn't really want to say anything, you know, I don't know if it's fear or what, but, you know, it's the word's got to get out there. So when I seen your video, I, it brought tears to my eyes, to be honest, you know, to see what was going on, you know, them hiding the oil under, you know, the grass and everything like that. It not only, you know, it made me disgusted, but it broke my heart, you know, because, you know, like we're here, everybody's here, water is life, and uh, we need it to survive. And, you know, these big oil companies, they don't care as long as they can make that money, and they don't care who they hurt or, you know, who they kill, you know, as long as that dollar is coming in. And, you know, I'm here to fight against that. You know, I've, this is my second time to Standing Rock, and I came here only three weeks ago. And it totally changed my life, you know, the camaraderie of everybody to coming together and uh, being so helpful. Uh, when I left here the first time, you know, I left a piece of my heart here. And as soon as I got back the next day is, is when the water cannons were being shot and on the bridge and people were getting shot with, you know, the, the rubber bullets and the gas, you know, the tear gas canisters. And, you know, I was called, to, I was called back, you know, I was going to come back after winter, but I couldn't wait any longer. You know, so I came back to fight and I came back with a bunch of vets, you know, and I was really honored to roll with them. You know, I'm not a vet myself, you know, but, you know, for what they're doing and coming here and standing up with us, it's, uh, it's been an honor to meet a lot of them. And there's a lot of great guys here that are, uh, you know, that have given up a lot to, you know, do this fight, including myself. You know, I gave up a lot coming here, you know, and uh, now without, I'm going back to Washington for a little bit longer, but I'm going to be back. And I'm just going to keep coming back as much as I can. You know, I wish I could stay for, you know, the whole time, you know, but, you know, I got kids at home that <laughs> that I got to take care of, too. Oh, so I'm on my way home to see my kids. It's been a month now. Well, I'm, yeah, I, could, I couldn't imagine that. You know, my kids are my life. Yeah. You know, I do this for them. You know, I've been asked, you know, why are you here? You know, think about your future. Think about your family. And I, I am thinking about my family. I'm, th I'm not thinking about myself. You know, they, they say you're being selfish. I said, no, I'm not. I'm thinking of their future. I'm thinking of my grandchildren's future, my great-grandchildren's future. This is not for me. I'm fighting for them, you know, and that's what I'm going to continue to do until, you know, until I feel like in my heart I know what I'm doing is right, and I'm just going to continue doing it.
and uh, you know because I love my kids and the kids are my life you know and I do anything for them so I, that's why I'm here I'm here to fight for them thank you so much you're welcome I appreciate it yeah thank you and thank you again for uh, showing us your video it's been eye-opening inspiring and like I said it brought tears to my eye and it, but it, and it just broke my heart to see it but knowing that there's people like you out there you know showing the corruption of these oil industries opening eyes it just I am very honored to meet you and uh, I thank you for just you know taking time out of your day to show me the same gratitude and same love